In this video, we'll be learning about isometric drawing, the format and its uses. You'll learn how to draw an isometric, as well as develop some drawing techniques such as crating, ghosting and using weighted lines. For any definitions of keywords, you can simply pause the video here and review in your own time. Isometric sketching is a technique used to represent three-dimensional objects in two dimensions. This method is especially useful for designers and engineers because it allows for a clear and precise depiction of objects, showcasing all three dimensions without distortion. Isometric sketching uses a grid where the angles between the axes are all 120 degrees or 30 degrees from the horizontal line making it easier to visualize and construct complex shapes accurately. In this tutorial, you'll need to follow along by lightly sketching a range of fairly simple isometric shapes, outlining each shape with a fine line pen, and then add weighted lines to finish. Once you've had some practice, you can then challenge yourself by having a go at drawing some more complex isometric shapes. We'll begin by drawing a simple cube but then add a little extra detail on each face. Again, we'll lightly sketch the outline, then go over with a fine line pen and then finish by adding some heavier lines. I'm drawing the cube near the top of the page to leave plenty of space further down for more sketching. I do this lightly in pencil first to make it easy to erase if I make a mistake. I'll go over this with a fine liner when I know that the lines are drawn correctly. There's no need to use a ruler at this stage because they're just a guide for now and it's far less time consuming to draw freehand. With the outline of the cube drawn, I can now go over this with a fine line pen. Again, try doing this freehand if you can as this is a skill that can be developed the more you practice. To draw a straight line freehand, you need to rotate the paper and get into a comfortable position, then practice the motion of drawing the line without touching the paper. This is a method known as ghosting. Here, I've added some extra detail simply to highlight the angles in isometric drawing, so you may want to do the same. For a little more complexity, I'm going to add some extra detail onto the cube. So see if you can copy these shapes. Follow the same order by lightly sketching first, then check it's correct before adding fine line pen. Weighted lines or varying line thicknesses are particularly useful in isometric sketching. Thicker lines are used for edges that define the shape and boundaries of an object, often the outermost edges. Thinner lines are typically used for internal details and less prominent edges. This technique enhances the clarity of the sketch, allowing viewers to easily distinguish between different parts of the object. To help illustrate this, we can use the spider analogy. Imagine a spider walking along the edges of this cube. If the spider crosses from one face of the cube to another, and you can still see it, the edge it crossed remains a thin line. However, if the spider crosses onto a hidden face out of sight, the edge it crossed becomes a thicker line. This analogy helps to differentiate between visible and hidden edges, adding depth and clarity to your sketch. So now have a go at adding these heavier lines. It's easier if you have a thicker pen for this, but you can just use your current pen. It just might take a little longer to thicken the lines. Also, try doing this freehand if you can, but it's also fine to use a ruler if needed. In this next part, I want you to use the same principles to draw three more shapes. Again, a light pencil sketch, then outline with your pen and finish with some heavier lines. Hopefully this will help to reinforce the correct use of weighted lines. One tip I would give at this point when drawing these shapes is just to draw one face at a time. I've found that some students will often begin to draw one face, then move on to another before finishing the previous. They then get confused and begin to make mistakes. Drawing one face at a time is best, and even one line at a time 
thinking about the length of the line as well as the direction. Finally, you should have a little bit of space at the bottom of the page to draw one or two of your own isometric shapes. Before you do, however, consider how challenging you have found this exercise. Consider the quality of your sketches. Are they accurately drawn? Were you able to match the proportions? What are your lines like? Are they straight? Do they have a consistent thickness? Assess what you've done well and use this to determine the different aspects that you need to work on. If you found it quite easy, then you may want to try something a little more complex. Alternatively, if you found it quite difficult, then it may be enough of a challenge just to draw your own shapes, but keep them simple. <laughs>